Input. A tour of C++, containers and algorithms. The standard library offers iStreams for input. Like OStreams, iStreams deal with character string representations of built-in types and can easily be extended to cope with user-defined types. The operator, getFrom, is used as an input operator, cin is the standard input stream. The type of the right-hand operand of, getFrom, determines what input is accepted and what is the target of the input operation. For example, void f int i c and i read an integer into i double d c and d read a double precision floating point number into d. This reads a number, such as 1234, from the standard input into the integer variable i and a floating point number, such as 12.34e5, into the double precision floating point variable d. Often, we want to read a sequence of characters. A convenient way of doing that is to read into a string. For example, void hello. C out, please enter your name new line. String str. C in str. C out hello, str not new line. If you type in Eric, the response is Hello, Eric. By default, a white space character, such as a space, terminates the read, so if you enter Eric Bloodaxe pretending to be the ill-fated king of York, the response is still Hello, Eric. You can read a whole line, including the terminating new line character, using the getLine function. For example, void hello line. C out, please enter your name new line. String str. Get line, C in, str. C out hello, str not new line. With this program, the input Eric Bloodaxe yields the desired output. Hello, Eric Bloodaxe. The new line that terminated the line is discarded, so CIN is ready for the next input line. The standard strings have the nice property of expanding to hold what you put in them, you don't have to pre-calculate a maximum size. So, if you enter a couple of megabytes of semicolons, the program will echo pages of semicolons back at you. Thank you for watching.